Hey, this is Dave at HouseBarons.com. Today we're going to show you how to kid-proof your doors, especially when you have a, le a door lever or a, a door handle like this as opposed to a round door knob. Uh, round door knobs, you've probably seen the protection on those. They put a cover over the door knob and little hands, two years old, three years old, they can't grip onto that internal door knob that keeps uh, a little one from going through that door. Door, door levers or door handles are a little bit different because it doesn't take any coordination. It just takes a little kid to get his hand on here and, and poof, the door is open without much effort at all. So we want to go ahead and, and show you how to do that. We've got a, it's called a childproof, childproof door lever lock. And this, this really will do the trick and it's, it's pretty simple. You just need to know a couple things. Uh, First thing is uh, you have to measure from the face of the door to the outside of this to the outside of this handle to kind of get an approximation of what size lock you're going to need. In our case, that's about uh, two and five eighths. We'll have a link in the description below. Uh, we got this on Amazon, and you can see the, those several different sizes, several different depths of locks depending on how far your door handle is. And so what we got is one that's about two and a half inches and uh, that's exactly you know that will stop this the other thing you need to know is does your handle just go down to open it or can it go up or down because that matters on what what type of lock you're, you're getting in our case we're getting one that has a fixed upper portion and then the bottom portion you squeeze in these buttons right here you squeeze in that button right there on either side and that, then this can go up and down. And once it's up, you let out the buttons and it's fixed. So it takes the coordination of pressing both of those in at the same time and then pu pulling it down. To go ahead and mount this is pretty simple. They come with a sticky, this has a 3M sticky side to it. And all you have to do is peel that off. And then you want to put the rigid part about an eighth of an inch above the door handle. And then once you stick it on, all you have to do is press the side buttons in, lift it up, and it's locked in place. And there, it's not moving at all. The reason you do this is because, like here, this is a garage door. The other door that we put one of these on is a door that goes to the basement stairs. And you really don't want to have uh, those basement stairs be unwatched for just a moment and then a little one ends up falling down those stairs. And so these can come in really handy uh, where you're looking to keep those little arms and little hands from opening a door that they shouldn't open. Some door handles like bathroom doors have a lock on the inside of the bathroom door lock and that uh, you can lock that from the inside and and then it just has a, a pin that goes in the front of it to unlock it from the outside of the door lock. And so uh, these type of locks like we have on this door here and on our basement door, they don't have that pin unlocking mechanism for it. So you need something like this to prevent it from being opened when you don't want it to be opened. Hope this video helps. If you got anything out of it, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got more videos coming. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.